right, let's prove another thing. So we've got 5.38 here, and so let's see here. We're going to start with x is Bonnock. So by um, the uniform boundedness principle, the supremum over all n of the norm of Tn is some number m, which is finite. So then, for all epsilon greater than zero, for all x and y in x, let's let n be a natural number such that tx minus tnx plus ty minus tny is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n. All right, why can we do this? This is because the supremum of the norms of the Tn's is finite, and so So the limit of Tnx exists for every single x and x. So basically what we're doing is for each of these particular points, because this limit exists, you can make that less than epsilon over 2. And so you could just, this is basically a shortcut. Instead of saying, let this be less than epsilon over 2 and the other one, blah, 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 we're just combining everything into one step. So then what? Then norm of tx minus ty is certainly less than or equal to, we do typical triangle inequality thing, we're going to take this, and we got tnx minus tny. So we've basically introduced tnx and tny. Um, that should be a ty. So then this is less than or equal to, well, let's see here, we've chosen n. Uh, well, well, this is, um, at the end of this, we're going to say this is for all n greater than or equal to n. Um, so let's see here, by our choice, this these first two are less than epsilon. Uh, no, wait, the first one and the last one are less than epsilon. And this middle one stays. And what do we know about Tn of x minus y? That's certainly less than or equal to if we take the norm of Tn, multiply it by the difference between x minus y. But this is certainly less than epsilon mx minus y. Because the, the supremum of the Tn norms is m. So what does that tell us? So Tx minus Ty is less than or equal to m x minus y. So t x minus y over norm x minus y is less than or equal to m. This is, of course, when x is not equal to y. And so what does that tell us? Uh, it tells us precisely that the uh, norm of t is less than or equal to m. Because this is anything of norm, th these are all things of norm one. Um, right? Yeah, you can take anything of norm one and write it in this form, and it's going to be less than or equal to m. So um, let's see here. T is uh, linear because let's just write it out. T x plus lambda y is the limit as n goes to infinity of tn of x plus lambda y. And basically the thing here is that limits work nicely. Limits are linear. Limits and linearity work nicely together. Equals tx plus lambda ty. So So what does this mean? So T is a bounded linear functional. 
and hence t is in LXY. And there we go. We're done. So basically, this thing at, at first the same thing seems a little weak because this is just we have an n depending on x and y, and that's typically that that's not very uniform at all. Uh, but this um, this m is uniform in n, and so that's what gives us the power to tell something really to get to uh, to extract a real in, um, important fact about t from this. And so there we go. This completes the proof.